Hello, hello, Miss McCarthy here, and I would like to welcome you to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA. This is the fifth grade edition. So if you are a fifth grader, you're in the right place. If you're a fifth grade parent, parent of a fifth grader, you're in the right place. If you're a tutor who helps fifth graders, you're in the right place. And if you're a teacher who's here, welcome. Love that you're here. So today, our standard today is going to be maths.5.oa.2.3. This is lesson three. Numerical patterns and graphing is the topic. I'm really excited about today's lesson, so let me teach ya. Example one, Sarah and Caitlin. Sarah is me. Caitlin is my partner in crime where I work. Shout out to you, Caitlin. Uh, it says, Sarah and Caitlin are creating patterns. This is what we often do, Caitlin and I. Sarah starts with the rule, multiply by 2 and add 7, and starts at 3. Caitlin uses the rule, add 20, and starts at 13. What's the first number in Sarah's pattern that will also appear in Caitlin's pattern? All right, so let me start with mine. So I start at 3 and I multiply by two and add seven. So three times two is six plus seven is 13. 13 times two plus seven, 13 times two is 26, plus seven is 33. 33 times two plus seven is 33 times two is 66 plus three, which would be 73. All right, now let me check Caitlin's. Caitlin starts at 13 and adds 20, which would be 33. Now I'm noticing something. I see 33 and 33, but is that the first number that appears in both patterns? No, the number 13 is the number that appears in both patterns first. So my answer that goes into the equation editor is 13. I press one, I press three, and I'd get it correct. All right, example two. Laura and Molly, some other homies of mine that I work with. What's up, ladies? Laura and Molly are creating patterns. Each pattern starts at one. Laura uses the rule, multiply by two, then add one. Molly uses the rule, multiply by two, then add two. There's two parts to this question. The first part says to drag the numbers into the table to show the next two terms for Laura's pattern and for Molly's pattern. And then part B says to use the add point tool that's up here to plot the ordered pairs that are created from the first three terms of their patterns. So let me first figure out their patterns. So Laura, here she goes, she starts at one. She multiplies by two and adds one. So one time and adds one. So one times two is two plus one is three. Three times two plus one. Three times two is six plus one is seven. Okay, I only needed the next two terms. So I'm gonna plug that in three and seven for Laura's pattern. Okay, so Molly starts at one and her pattern is to multiply by two and then add two. So one times two is two, plus two is four. And let's do that one more time, times two plus two. Four times two is eight, plus two is 10. All right, now part B says that I need to add these points over here. So I'm gonna take them and I need to plug these in. So I have, for Laura, I have one, and for Molly, I have one. For Laura, I have three, and for Molly, I have four. These are the points. And for Laura, I have seven. For Molly, I have 10. Okay, so to do this, I start with my X. I start with what Laura has first. So I go over one, add one, there's the point. Up one, there's a the point. Okay, because when you're doing here, that's how many you go over on the X, and this is how many you go up on the Y. Okay, so. Three and four, I would go over three, which is between three and four, and then up to four, which is right here. Awesome. Okay, so here I would actually click this and then click the point, 
And then here I have 7 and 10. So I'm going to go over 7 and up to 10. Yep, it's kind of hard to see from an angle. So those are the three points that you would need. You fill in the table and you add the points to your grid. Example 3. Alexandria has two patterns. Each pattern starts at 0. The first one is to add 2 and the second pattern would be to add 4. Describe the relationship between the corresponding terms in the pattern. So let's, let's first figure out what the pattern is because this is an open response question. I'm going to have to write what I'm thinking to answer this question. So she has two patterns. Each one starts with 0. So here's pattern 1, here's pattern 2. Then for this one she does plus 2, so that would be 2 would be next. Plus 2 would be 4, plus 2 would be 6. Now I'm going to stop there. So I've got 0, 2, 4, and 6 for the first pattern. Now I'm going to add 4, so 0 plus 4 would be 4. 4 plus 4 would be 8. 8 plus 4 would be 12. Okay, so describe the relationship between the corresponding terms. So this one corresponds with this one. 2 corresponds with 4. 4 corresponds with 8. 6 corresponds with 12. If we were to graph these, these corresponding terms would be our coordinates that we would graph. Okay, but here, what is the relationship? Well, I'm noticing that 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and 6 times 2 is 12. So the corresponding terms, the pattern is that the corresponding terms of the second one are twice the first pattern. So describe the relationship between the corresponding terms. The terms, oops, let's spell that right, terms of the second pattern are twice the value of the first pattern. Right, example four. Robin and John are creating patterns. The first term in each pattern is one. Robin uses the rule multiply by 4. John uses the rule add 15. Complete the table to show the next three numbers in each pattern. So we know that Robin's pattern, it starts at 1. So does John's. John's pattern starts at 1, 2. It says each pattern starts at 1. And Robin uses the rule multiply by 4. So I'm going to go 4 times. 1 times 4 equals 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. 16 times 4 equals, I think it's 64. Yep, 64. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. I put them in 16. This is a table item. So you'd be clicking on there and inserting this information into the title on your computer, into the table, I'm sorry, on your computer. Now, John. His pattern is to add 15, so 1 plus 15 is 16, 16 plus 15 is 31, 31 plus 15 is 46. So I'm going to insert this information into the pattern, and that's all I had to do with this one. I didn't have to describe the relationship or anything, I just had to use the pattern and put it into a table format. Last one. Tracy has two patterns. Each pattern starts at zero. Add one and add two are the two rules. What are the first three ordered pairs formed from the corresponding terms of the two patterns? Okay, so the first three ordered pairs. So I need to figure out the patterns for both and then I'm going to put those as ordered pairs. So here's the first pattern and here's the second pattern. Each one starts at zero, zero and zero. 
The first one is add one. So zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. So I have one, two, three terms. I'm good to go. The next one is add two. So zero plus two is two. Two plus two is four. One, two, three terms. Okay, this, these are my corresponding terms. These go together, these go together, and these go together. So now to rewrite these as ordered pairs, I would do zero comma zero, zero comma zero, one comma two, one comma two, two comma four, two comma four. And those would be the coordinates that I would then graph if I needed to but here I just had to find the ordered pair. So 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4 are my ordered pairs. Now this one is kind of tricky. I threw that in there. Um, and I guess technically that would be correct. So I don't know if you would see a problem like that. But because they're not going in the same order, the same terms, that's how you could eliminate that one. That's why the first answer choice would be better. And then the other ones aren't even the order pairs that we pick. So that's how you do it. All right, that's a wrap for today. But before you go, let me leave you with this motivational message. Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. Life is going to throw you curveballs sometimes, sometimes just to see how you react to it. Those who react positively are going to continue down a positive path. Those who react negatively will attract negativity into their lives. So you get to choose. When something happens to you, how are you going to react?